morning, Coach Call. Good morning. You are one and two in your first week of competition here at Northwestern, and you're one and one since we've last talked last week. Um, what are your thoughts on your team? Where do you see your team after its first week of play? Well, we've you know we've we made some good steps throughout the throughout the preseason here, um, but we're still a long ways to go. We haven't shot the ball very well yet, and um, we just haven't executed things as well as we needed to execute things. I think we've taken a lot of rushed shots. And um, that's just getting used to playing within the new offensive system that we're trying to do and getting used to playing with each other. Um, so I've been pleased that we're, we're making some positive steps. We didn't play a very good game on Saturday, so we're hoping to rebound and play a little bit better game tonight. Katie DeWitt, uh, in two games, she's averaging 15.5 points and 10.5 rebounds per game, yet she's only shooting 33% or has only shot 33% thus far. Uh, do you see room for improvement there? Yeah, it's hard to complain about those numbers like we talked about, but we know Katie's a very talented player and um, we, you know, we expect a lot from her. I don't think she's got a real good feel for her shot right now. Hasn't shot it very well from the perimeter. She's been outstanding from the free throw line, I believe, close to 90%. Um, but I, I just know as Katie starts to get a feel of where her shots will come within our system, within our team concept, I think uh, she'll start to shoot a little bit better. Someone that you were really impressed with watching film in the off season was Megan Myrie, um, with shooting over fifty percent last season coming off the bench. She's shooting again over fifty percent uh, this year so far, averaging nine point seven points, seven point seven rebounds per game. Your thoughts on her play thus far this season? Well, Megan's been a, a good steady force for us. We did a poor job on Saturday. Part of the reason we shot it so poorly as a team on Saturday is we didn't get Megan enough shots. Um, you know, I think. Um, She's had good games, um, all three of them. She's been pretty consistent. I think she's shooting over 50% for the year, right at 50% for the year, and doing a good job on the on the board. So, um, you know, we need to find a way to get Megan the ball down down in the block. And if she slows down and makes good post moves, she's a good shooter. Um, she she's a threat from the three point line. Again, if we can get her to slow down out there a little bit, um, she's a good shooter. And I'm excited to see what she can do throughout the year. Have you seen improvement from her? Um, not that she was a bad player coming into her junior season here, but um, since you've started to work with her, have you seen improvement from her in practice and in games and conditioning and things like that? Yeah, she's working really hard at what she's trying to do, and uh, you got to give her credit because she's she's putting extra time in. She's really working hard on doing the things that we want her to do um, specifically, uh, and I know Coach Chuck tried to get her to do the same things. Uh, it's just to slow down a little bit. And when she slows down and takes her time and makes good solid moves, she's pretty hard to defend. Molly Sir is a freshman. She's averaging a little over six points, four rebounds per game. She uh, received all tournament uh, team honors this last weekend at the Northwestern Tip-Off Tournament. Have you been impressed with her play thus far, or is it what you've come to expect? Yeah, Molly's done a good job. You know, she's it's her first year, so the transition from high school to college is always a, a difficult thing. But uh, Molly's the kind of kid that will do anything you ask her to do. Um, she's very coachable, but she understands the game and she puts in time. I don't know if there's anybody on our team that puts in as much time as Molly does in the off season, um, getting shots up. And again, I think actually she can shoot it better than what she shot it um, percentage wise. I think that she understands how fast the game is played and where her shots will come from. Uh, she's got a, a unique ability to, to get her own shot off. She's kind of got a step back move that not a lot of players have uh, that we've been impressed with on a couple shots. Uh, but she went through a stretch where she didn't shoot it very well. and. Um, um, I expect her, as she gets more confidence, to really be more consistent with her shooting. You uh, continue your non-conference schedule tonight. You're at uh, UW Stout, and then you take a really quick Thanksgiving break before um, coming back and uh, traveling to UW Lacrosse to play in a tournament down there. You'll play lacrosse on Saturday, I believe, mm -hmm. and then Luther and Rare Sunday matchup. Mm -hmm. Um, your thoughts about those teams, what they present to you, and how your team matches up? Well, with the way the season's been going right now, two days seems like a long time, not really quick, but I understand it, it is really quick. We, um, we do play tonight against Stout, um, a good team on the road, uh, you know, a Wisconsin school that has been very successful, had a very good year last year. Um, so that'll present a lot of different challenges for us, River Falls. Um, it was a tough game for us here. And we're just hoping to come out and respond a little bit better than we did in that game. Uh, their pressure really got to us. We turned it over. We didn't get very good shots. Um, so that'll be a challenge for us on the road tonight. After that, like I said, we'll take the two days off, Wednesday and Thursday. Then we'll come back, practice Friday, and then we'll leave Saturday, go down to lacrosse, who's, who's a very good team. They're very physical. they got big, 
um, post players inside and they can shoot it. Um, but it'll be a fun tournament to be part of. And then, like you say, on Sunday we'll play Luther um, and, and get back after that uh, Sunday night and then get ready for our next week of play. So all three teams will present challenges for us. We're just trying to take positive steps, get better, control the things that we can control so that we can play our best basketball uh, when the UMAC season starts.